It is the week of November 28th, 2017. My name is Emily. Welcome to your Ruth Fisher News. Animal shelters this time of year are overflowing with pets, mainly cats and dogs. Just like shelters for people, most animal shelters are taking donations of food and other pet supplies, especially during the cold winter months. Also, as the winter slowly gets colder, please Make sure to bring your pets inside so they don't get sick or too cold. As you're driving down the road, make sure to watch out for animals like cats, dogs, coyotes, and bobcats. Also, if you see a black and white cat, when you look at and when you look at his face, he kind of looks like Batman. If you find this cat, please email Mr. Whistler and he will help you locate the owner. Let's go over to Fun Fact Trivia with Wyatt. Hi, my name is Wyatt, and welcome to your fun fact trivia. See if you can correctly guess the answer to this question. What is the world's fastest falcon in the world? Peregrine falcon, bat falcon, prairie falcon. You have 10 seconds to guess. Peregrine Falcon, you're right. It can reach speeds up to 240 miles per hour. See you next time in Fun Track. Thank you, Wyatt. Let's go over to Eric. What's this week in history? On this day, Magellan reaches the Pacific Ocean on his trip around the world in 1520. He was rich researching for a western route to the Spice Islands after leaving from Spain. His journey took almost a full year, and unfortunately, Magellan didn't make it at the, to the end. He was hit by a poison arrow and died shortly after reaching the Pacific. Also on this day in 1855, the Dorea Motor Wagon wins the first gasoline-powered car race in U.S. history. The race was supposed to be 92 miles long near Chicago, but it got, short, got shortened to 50 miles due to a blizzard. Only six of the 89 cars that started the, that race made it to the finish line. They were awarded $2,000 for their victory. That's all for this week's In History. See you next time. Thank you, Eric. Let's go over to Athena with Joke of the Week. Welcome to Joke of the Week. My name is Athena. And I'm Emily. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ho, ho. Ho, ho, who? Your Santa impression needs a little work. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I get it. If you have a joke and would like to be on the Ruth Fisher News, go to the link below. We'll love to have you on. Thank you, Athena. Let's go over to Kelly with teacher interview. Hi, welcome to teacher interview. My name is Kelly, and today we have Ms. Hacker, an eighth grade math teacher. Hello. Hi, Ms. Hacker. My first question is, what do you like to do at Ruth Fisher? My favorite thing about Ruth Fisher and what do I enjoy doing here is teaching my students. I have a great group of students this year who are really striving to head to high school. Along with the teachers, the teachers really make it fun to work here. We're one big community and they put on some great potlucks. Okay, for my second question is, what do you like to do in your spare time? Well, I have a very large family, so I like to enjoy time with my kids and my brothers and my sisters, as well as we have lots of animals, so we spend a lot of time riding horses, roping, and going to rodeos. And my oldest daughter plays very competitive volleyball, so I really enjoy to attend volleyball games as well. For my third question is, what did you do over Thanksgiving break? Oh, I did lots of things, Kelly. I headed down to Tucson to spend some time with all my family down there and with my husband's family. We worked a lot of horses and we built a pig pen. My eighth graders have been designing a pig pen for me that my son is gonna raise his pig in. For my last question, Ms. Hacker, what is a place that you would like to go? I would absolutely love to see Australia, although the finances are a little slim to head there, but I would love to go see Australia and eat pancakes on the rocks. Thank you for being here for teacher interview. Thank you, Kelly, for having me. Good luck, Colts, on all your testing this week. I hope you guys all had a great week of no school. Now let's see you next time on Ruth Fisher News. Go Colts! <laughs>